In this video, we will talk about the anatomy of shoulder joint. What is a shoulder joint? The shoulder joint is a ball and socket type of synovial joint. Therefore, it has a wide range of movements. There is no joint in the body that has more mobility than the shoulder joint. Anatomy of the shoulder joint. The shoulder joint, also known as the glenohumeral joint, is one of the most complex and mobile joints in the human body. We will discuss the following points in the anatomy of shoulder joint. Bones involved. Joint capsule. Synovial membrane. Bursi related to joint. Ligaments. Muscles involved in the joint. Nerve supply. Blood supply. Number 1. Bones involved in shoulder joint. Three bones are involved in shoulder joint. Humerus. The proximal end of the humerus forms the ball of the ball and socket joint. Scapula. The glenoid cavity of the scapula forms the socket of the ball and socket joint. Clavicle. Connects the shoulder to the sternum, acting as a strut, to stabilize the shoulder. The joint capsule of shoulder joint. The joint capsule is a fibrous envelope, that encloses the structures of the shoulder joint, providing stability and flexibility. The synovial membrane of shoulder joint. The inner lining of the joint capsule secretes synovial fluid which lubricates the joint, bursi related to joint. These are sacs filled with synovial fluid, that surrounds the shoulder joint at specific locations. There are three bursi related to shoulder joint, subacromial bursa. It is also known as subaltoid bursa, subscapularis bursa, infraspinatus bursa, ligaments of shoulder joint, glenohumeral ligaments. These are superior, middle, and inferior, glenohumeral ligaments. They strengthen the anterior aspect of the joint capsule. Coracohumeral ligament extends from the coracoid process of the scapula to the greater tubercle of the humerus. It gives strength to the capsule. Coracoacromial ligament forms the coracoacromial arch, which prevents superior displacement of the humeral head. Transverse humeral ligament it bridges the bicipital groove of humerus, holds the long head of the biceps tendon in place. Within the bicipital groove, muscles involved in shoulder joint, it has two categories of muscles involved, rotator cuff muscles, other muscles, rotator cuff muscles, these are, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, tears minor, subscapularis, other muscles involved, these are, deltoid, pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, tears major, biceps brachii, triceps brachii, nerve supply of shoulder joint, Four nerves are involved in shoulder joint, axillary nerve. It innervates the deltoid, and tears minor muscles, suprascapular nerve. It innervates the supraspinatus, and infraspinatus muscles, subscapular nerves. It innervates the subscapularis, and tears major muscles, musculocutaneous nerve. It innervates the biceps brachii, and other flexor muscles of the arm. Blood supply of shoulder joint, following arteries supply the shoulder joint, anterior and posterior circumflex humeral arteries. These are branches of the axillary artery, suprascapular artery. It is a branch of the thyrocervical trunk, subscapular artery. It is a branch of the axillary artery. Clinical significance of shoulder joint, common pathologies of shoulder joint are, dislocations. The shoulder joint is prone to dislocations. Due to its high mobility, and shallow glenoid cavity, rotator cuff injuries, tears or inflammation of the rotator cuff tendons, frozen shoulder, also known as, adhesive capsulitis. It is the stiffness and pain, due to inflammation and scarring of the joint capsule, arthritis. It is the degenerative changes in the joint, leading to pain and reduced mobility.